Scorpions are scary and very dangerous, despite their small sizes, right? Well, imagine a scorpion the size of a human come in front of you. Such large creatures are not only part of fiction movies, but actually existed once on our planet. They are called Eurypterid, or giant sea scorpions, and they were pretty terrifying. Let's jump back in time to the Paleozoic era to find out more about these fascinating creatures. This period existed between 541 million and 252 million years ago, long before the dinosaur's era. During this period, the ocean levels rose significantly, making it a suitable habitat for plants, fish, and arthropods. The Earth's temperature dropped significantly, and the ocean's water had more nutrition. So, life sparked into the oceans instead of mostly frozen lands. The family of arthropods was flourishing and evolving with little to no competition at all. The most notorious animal of those times was the giant sea scorpion, which terrorized oceans, seas, and rivers as an apex predator. Many fossil records have been discovered, and more than 220 extinct species of giant scorpions are already confirmed. The smallest of them was not bigger than our hand, and the largest reached a length of 2.5 meters, which is 8.2 feet. The largest species of sea scorpion ever found had a claw of 45 centimeters, or 18 inches. A claw this size could easily decapitate a grown human. Although giant sea scorpions may look like modern-day scorpions, they were built differently. Unlike today's scorpions, they were initially marine animals. Giant sea scorpions had long, tapered bodies, with claws on the front like their modern cousins. But instead of the legs, they had a pair of paddles attached at the back of their bodies. They used these paddles to move into the water and dig holes in the soil. They appeared to be very simple animals, right? But how did they dominate the oceans with such a simpler build? Did they possess poisonous stingers like their modern relatives? And how did they catch their prey in the water? We have very limited knowledge of these scorpions regarding their hunting methods. Scientists assume that giant sea scorpions used to catch their prey with their forelimbs. These limbs were basically claws with tiny, teeth-like structures inside the claws. The teeth on the hands assisted the scorpions in holding the slippery marine animals while they shredded them to pieces. Giant sea scorpions did not have a poisonous stinger like their living relatives but their lower back evolved into a paddle that helped them move in the water. So, giant sea scorpions either chased their prey to catch them with their claws, or they hid in the plants or rocks and ambushed the nearby prey and grabbed them. The accurate diet of giant sea scorpions is not confirmed, but they often practiced cannibalism, which means they ate their own, smaller kind, along with the fish and other arthropods. It's assumed that if humans had lived back then, Unluckily, they would have found themselves in the grip of the mighty claws of giant scorpions. So, what happened to giant sea scorpions? Why are such perfect predators still not around? The giant sea scorpions died during the Permian extinction, also called the Great Dying. It was the biggest extinction event in the history of life. Almost 96% of marine life completely died during this event, and it took millions of more years for life to multiply and diversify again. This extinction event took place due to global warming. Due to unknown reasons, the Earth's temperature suddenly began to rise and warmed up the oceans. As a consequence, the oceans lost most of their oxygen, and 96% of animals died due to lack of oxygen. The giant sea scorpions must have gone extinct during the Great Dying Period. However, some smaller species, especially the ones that lived in streams and lakes, survived. But due to an increase in competition for survival, they left the water and evolved as land animals. The thousands of species of scorpions we see today are descendants of those smaller species of giant scorpions. Yes, the giant creatures died off, but one thing is obvious. There's still a lot to unveil about these fascinating giant sea scorpions. I hope you guys liked the video. Kindly like the video and subscribe to the channel for more amazing videos. Until next time!